from one place to the other in making interpretations. You go from one scripture to the next to show more light and more light, and every word explains itself. Every Bible question has a Bible answer. So, if we read those things in the prophet Daniel, we must come to the book of Revelation. If we read things in the Gospels, we must go to the book of Acts. We must continue further on in the New Testament so that we go from old to new, from the Gospels right to the book of Revelation. So every Bible question will have the answer from the Scriptures itself. In Daniel chapter 7, we have again the information about the four world empires. But it says here in verse 19, Then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which was diverse from all the others, exceedingly dreadful, whose teeth were of iron and its nails of bronze, which devoured the old earth. Now, beloved friends, you can read in the prophet Daniel yourself. And then in verse 23, Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. In verse 25 we read, And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Question number one. Who is the he of the connection spoken of in this context? And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change the times and the laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time, times, a dividing of time. Already speaking of the last three and a half years, when the last persecution will take place, which will come upon the Jews at that time. And then it says here that the God of heaven will establish his kingdom at that time in verse 27. Then again asking who the he is, who will perform all these things. The main person in the end time, the main person representing religion, representing politics, the person all the earth looks towards, esteems high. Who is that person? It says here in Daniel chapter 8, in verse 17, So he came near unto me, and I understood. When he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. This speaks about Gabriel coming to Daniel to give him divine understanding of what he saw, not explanation, but divine revelation of the things which were shown to the prophet. Then it says further on in Daniel chapter 8, verse 24, and 25, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power, and he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper, and continue, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Verse 25, 
and through his policy. So this man, known as the Antichrist, as the false prophet, as the man of sin, as the son of perdition, the man who will have the most high esteem on earth, a man to whom Christianity, Muslims, Arabs, heathens, Jews, everybody will look up to the main person in the end time will not be some American president or some Russian president. We are dealing with the coming up of the Roman Empire, which is the last of the four empires. And the main actor must be part of the Roman Empire, which comes into power again. It says here, I continue with verse 25. And through his policy also, he shall cause deceit to prosper in his hands, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. Usually, things are destroyed by war. But this man is a man of peace. All the nations, the UN, the United States, and other nations fight to destroy. But this man, by peace, would destroy many. Where is the connection in the New Testament? I read it to you from 1 Thessalonians, speaking of the day of the Lord, which would come as a thief in the night, and showing here from God's holy word itself that in the very end, peace will be declared. It says here, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, from verse 1, But of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. When the Lord spoke about the end time and the signs and the things he predicted, he says, when you see all these things, lift up your heads, for your redemption is drawing near. But of the day and the hour, nobody knows. We understand that the time is near, but we don't know the day. We don't know the hour. And then it says here, to continue in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And here comes the key scripture. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Now, these things are all in process. All the wars which have been and are still continuing, all the uprises, all the catastrophes, the whole earth is in a turmoil. But at the same time, we see it's also a time of uniting. All of Europe is being united. We have the United Nations. It's the time of uniting. The time when the signs of the Word of God are now taking place and things find their course in the end time. So we see Europe is being enlarged. It's not enough to have the Western Alliance Ten countries of the former Easter Bloc are joining and have to be part of the alliance by May the 1st in the year 2004.